Now let's talk about how to solve equations that are of a quadratic form. They're going to remind us of quadratic equations. They're not quite quadratic. Like this one's quartic because it has a little 4 right there. So also notice how this is a constant term, which means we can't factor something out. Sometimes we've been given something where we have something that's quartic and something that's cubic and then something that's quadratic, and then we can factor out a, um, x squared. But we can't do that here because there's nothing, there's no x's to factor out of this one. So, but the thing is that we do have a pattern. That 4 is double that exponent, and that's a constant term. So it's not this problem, but it reminds us of this one. It reminds us of x squared minus 8x minus 20 equals 0. It reminds us of that idea. It's a lot like it because that exponent is double that exponent. And just like that exponent is double that exponent. And what did we do here when we set up these things, and whatever our middle thing was, that's what goes in that first spot. So same idea. Now we have minus 10 and plus 2. And we're going to work from there. Now, going back to this idea, notice how my thing in the middle, that's what goes in the first spot of my set of parentheses. Well, again, that's what's going to go in my first spot in my set of parentheses. When I factor this, instead of saying x, I'm going to say my middle thing, x squared. x squared minus 10 and x squared plus 2 equals 0. Now, this thing is factored, but I, I need to work on it a little bit more. So if x squared minus 10 is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to 10. So that means that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 10. Over here, if x squared plus 2 equals 0, then x squared is equal to negative 2, which means that x is equal to plus or minus i square roots of 2. So when you type this answer in, you're going to have four answers. You have the square root of 10, negative square root of 10, and then i square roots of 2, and negative i square roots of 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 answers. And we know that we're supposed to be looking for four answers because this is a fourth degree. So one other thing, though. When you see something that's a, of a quadratic form and it just drives you nuts to try to put an x squared in this spot, you don't want to see something quadratic in that spot, we can do what's called a u substitution. That means call u whatever the middle thing is, x squared. And then you can say that that means the same thing as u squared minus 8u minus 20 equals 0. And then you can factor with u's. So u minus 10, u plus 2, and then that means that u is equal to 10, and u is equal to negative 2. And then once you have these solved for u, then you can put u, uh, x squared back in for u, and then finish the problem from there. You'll get back to these answers. So the idea is that the middle thing the middle kind of term is what goes in the first blanks. And if you don't like that one, then you can change it to a U and then switch it back at the end.